to improve on? Be specific. Don't give me fluffy answers. Who's got something they think they could improve on? I mentioned one thing that I thought a lot of you could improve on. But maybe you have something different. What's something you might improve on? Anybody want to share? See, early on, they may not. But if you do this at the start of your season, I guarantee by the end of the year, they're telling you what they really think. Don't do this the day of the championship game and expect that they're going to get the answer. It's start it early. Okay? So those are, that's debriefing. I think that's very, very important. Okay, guys, thank you very much. You all got your posters. I'm just going to ask the coaches if they have any questions, which is the worst debrief that you can ask. Why? Why is the say to your team? Anybody get any questions? Because what if the senior players told the younger players, don't say anything because we get to go home? <laughs> right? So, so that's a terrible debrief. That's a terrible debrief question. But I have to ask of you because that's fun to ask. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Coaches, any? I got time for one question, maybe two questions. I'm around all day. And uh, don't hesitate, lunches are in. But if there's any questions right now, I will. Does, does the element of team building in all this, is it, it's just like from Dave when we talk about communication and getting them to talk, and it's yes. also getting them to understand what's going on. So debriefs at the moment start of your practice, at the end of your practice, are vitally important to build that. Great con, great. I mean, it's, it's about building a, a routine or a, a climate or a culture within your team that it's okay to talk. It's okay to admit that I need to improve on something. It's okay to say that in front of my teammates. Exactly. Okay. That's right. Yes. Excellent. I call it an I, you, and a we. Most coaches go in and we start to do the debrief. And we'll say all the things they need to improve on. And then all they're going to do is tell you back what you just said. I would never have said that. Who said that? What? I never would have said that. But that was more powerful than anything I had to say. And because it came from him, it's great. So don't taint it with your thoughts first. I'll, I'll give you a quick, can I use my Riverview story real quick? I'll tell you the, I'll tell you the fast version. Coaching down in Riverview, Cape Breton. One of my early years of coaching, some of you weren't even born then. Anyways, I thought I was a pretty hot shot coach, and my team was stinking the gym out. So I pulled the famous, I subbed off all my stars and said, sit down here. You guys are terrible. I, look, I even had to put the bench in there. We can't play any defense. Now, go out there and make me look good. Basically, that's what I said. Jen, you were probably playing on this team. You probably were. So the bench goes, I mean, I didn't even see the bench on the floor. They're on there for like 30 seconds. Didn't even see them. So we proceeded to play even worse because one thing I found coaching girls is that stuff doesn't work. It doesn't work with guys either. I thought it did, but it didn't. So as we're leaving, I'm like, this is terrible. We played no defense. I kicked the garbage can, and I'm like, oh, man. And I said, not one of you played a lick of defense today. Not one of you. When we get back to Truro, we're going to get right on the minibus, and we're going to play practice defense right away. Now, unbeknownst to me, one of my little great tens went in the game for that 30 seconds that I didn't see. And when a shot went up, she went, shot, and she boxed out. And the girl, she grabbed the rebound. That's the first time she ever did that in a game. Now, when I said in the huddle after the game, not one of you played a lick of defense. You think she went, excuse me, sir. I played excellent defense today. Just wanted you to know that. And I know exactly when it happened in the game. Did she say that? No. In her mind, what was it? I played no defense today. So we have to be careful because we have a great power to influence what they think. Okay? Now, I do think I get at the end to summarize and build it all together, but I want to hear what they think first. Very important. Okay, thank you very much. And anything I can ever do helping coaching, listen, just don't email me right away. I have no email address right now. I'm just trying to get in my new apartment. In Nova Scotia Power just turned my power off for the whole weekend for some reason. I don't know. But I have, uh, it's called moving back to the province at, at the same time you're trying to start teaching. Don't ever do it. But I'm around all weekend, and eventually I'll get my email out. Thank you very much. Okay.